Hello folks. Today I've got something to show you. Um, it's a DIY bed slider. You know, you can, in the bed of your truck makes it easy to unload stuff or get to stuff that's way up in the front of that 8 foot bed. Now, I never did videotape or do anything about it because I just built it out of necessity. Well, I've been doing a little dark hollow shop cleaning using my old shop truck and uh, when I was at the dump yesterday there was a guy when I slid it out to unload some stuff boy he went nuts over it so I thought well let me share it in case somebody else wants to build one um, I'm sure there's plenty of these on the internet um, and on YouTube but this is my version so I figured I'd show it to you cool hey folks Welcome to the Dark Hollow Garage. Alright. Here we go. She's a little dirty because I've been using her, but what we have is those conveyor ball rollers. I don't know if you can see those very well. Let's see if I can zoom in on them. Conveyor ball rollers. I got them on Amazon. They just screw right down to the floor. Or to the board. Okay, so the anatomy of what we've got. We've got two eight foot long, three quarter inch pieces of plywood. Okay. Here. Oh, and I inset this so that when the tailgate closes, the handle is set back. But anyway. So you got eight foot piece, four by eight, four by eight, three quarter inch thick plywood. Got a piece of one by six makes up the side, but I cut the one by six down so I had this piece right here to, to glue and screw down so it has a lip. Then I made, or I didn't make it, I bought them. The little corner pieces here that I screwed in. Just for a little extra strength, even though the side is glued to the bottom board and glued and screwed to this top board, I still did that for a little added strength. So that's pretty much it right there. Put a little carpet on it. And she's dirty from being used, but... I just thought I'd show you all my little bed slider. It's pretty easy. Grab a hold of it. Slide right out. It'll come all the way out. Don't need that really though. I do have side windows that open. But when you got something all the way up in the front of that bed, like that old sawzall right there that I need to throw away, you know, it just, it's just, you got to crawl up in there and get to it. It's a pain in the butt. So I made that. But that right there is my little bed slider. That's how I made it. Sure comes in handy. Alrighty. Well, I guess that's about it for that one. Just thought I'd share it. Not much to it, really. I mean, it's easy to make. Got uh, carpentry skills. I mean, it's easy. Took a few screws though to put those uh, roller balls down, but um, I just figured I'd share that with you. You know, long bed truck, got a topper on it. Inevitably, something ends up in the middle at the very front, and you gotta climb up in there to get it out. 
pain in the booty. Yeah, like that slider. Now the other thing I thought about too is if I wanted to go out on a quick, say uh, one night, going to run out and do a little overnight camping trip. I can slide that baby out, make my bed, slide it back in. I don't have to crawl up in there to make my bed. I don't know. Just a thought. But appreciate y'all checking me out real quick. It's a short one. We got to go. All right, so check this out. Remember earlier in the video I was talking about how inevitably something ends up at the front of the bed in the middle? Okay, so I'm cleaning the garage like I said earlier. And uh, I've got brake calipers, okay, that I have to return for the core charges, right? I got two from my delivery van. I got one from my shop truck. Well, I opened the back glass on the topper and I dropped them down in the tailgate area there and closed the glass and off, in, off town I went. Somebody jumped out in front of me, jammed on the brakes. I heard thump thump. Didn't think much about it till I got to the auto parts store. Yeah, one of them bad boys made it dead, dead center, dead center in the front of that eight foot bed. Had to use a slider to get it back. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, folks. Catch you later.